Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you all how to use and edit videos on iMovie on your iPad or your iPhone. Alright, now iMovie is one of the simplest and easiest ways to edit videos, especially if you're a beginner and you're just starting off. Um, it's one of my favorite apps that I used to use when I was starting out and it's really simple. The whole interface and the entire way to use iMovie is fairly simple, alright? So let's get right into the video. So the first thing you want to do is you obviously want to go ahead and grab your video. All right, so I grabbed some stock footage right here. It's a video of the waves at the beach. And to start off, you got to go ahead and press plus. All right, find whatever video you want. So this is the video that I use. Go ahead and tap on it and click the plus button to add the video. After that, the video will automatically be placed on your screen and you will be able to edit the video. Now. The first thing I want to get into is actually editing this clip. So if you select the video, at the bottom you will see five different sections. You have the scissors, which is the part where you change the layout and the way the video flows. You have this one, which is the speed and timing section. This one, which is the volume section. This one over here is the text section. And this one can add filters, all right? I'm going to go through what each one of these things do, and then I'm going to explain some of the other features that are in iMovie. The first section is the scissors section, and like I said before, this is a section where you can edit the video, cut out parts, cut out audio, basically change the layout of the video, alright? Now, the first button on the scissors section is called split, alright? Now, what split does is it will cut a section of the video right over there, like this, and then you can choose to edit a separate part of the video. This is mainly used for if you want to remove a part of the video. All right. So if I want to remove, let's say this part before the waves touch the ocean, you can go here, select this part and click split. Then you see that in the middle, you have created a new clip and what you can do is select that and click the button that says delete. All right. Now, if I play the clip through, you can see that it automatically gets rid of that section all right, and that section is no longer visible in your video. The next button is called Detach. When you click that, you will see that there is a blue bar that pops up at the bottom. This on iMovie Mobile represents your audio, and you can go ahead and choose to edit this audio, all right? You can choose to cut out parts with the split tool again, just like that. You can delete audio. If you choose to, you can make it part of the background, which means that it'll be at the bottom and you can add a separate audio to your video. This is good if you want to get music in your video or separate sounds and sound effects. We have the duplicate section, which obviously doubles it and creates another section. And then we have the delete button at the end, all right? So detaching audio can be useful majority of the time for just editing simply the audio without affecting the actual video, all right? So let's say I say something and I mess up in a video, but I don't want to cut out the video part. I can go ahead, click split, click split here, all right? And then we can slowly move the audio down by holding it, put it right there, and you will see that if I had audio in this video, it would continue playing the video the same way while simply removing the audio so this will not affect the video in any way the next section that we have is called duplicate what duplicate does is it just copies the video and creates another clip right after that this is pretty self-explanatory there's not much to it so the exact same video i had in the beginning is now placed after that and the last thing i have in the scissors section is the delete which all it does is deletes the entire clip over here we have the timing section now what the timing section does is simply changes how the video timed itself and this duration the speed basically all the timing aspects of a certain video so if you look at the bar right here is a yellow bar with a bunny and a turtle you can choose to speed it up to two times by sliding the bar all the way to the right all right so if i play the video you will see that it's two times faster now or you can choose to slow it down by up to one eighth times if i play the video you will see that the video is super slow all right the next section is the freeze section what this does is it will pause a certain part of the video all right so if i'm playing the video you will see that right at that part it will pause the section freeze the section and then continue playing the video without altering any other 
parts of the video except for the one part that you froze. To extend a freeze section, all you gotta do is drag it and move it across. This will extend the clip and it will freeze the section for that long of a time and right after the freeze section ends, it will continue playing the video without interrupting and altering other parts of the video. Then we have the reset section. So this is if you have any other effects and you want to get rid of everything that you created. So let's say it's at two times speed and I added a freeze section, you click reset, it will automatically reset everything to the default settings that the video was placed in. The next section is the audio section. All this does is it brings the audio up and brings the audio down, all right? So you can bring the audio up to five times of what it is or by 500% or you can quiet down the audio up to 0%. This part is pretty self-explanatory. You can choose what you want to do with the audio. If your video is too loud, if your video is too quiet, you can choose how you want to edit the audio part. The next part is the text section. This personally is one of my favorite sections to use when I was a beginner because it made my video have more effects and made it seem more professional. To add a text, all you gotta do is find a text that you like. Let's say I like the reveal text, all right? Then after that, you wanna select center or lower. As you can see in the bottom left corner, there's a button that says center or lower. If you click lower, then it will make it like a caption at the bottom. If you click center, it'll center it on the screen and it will be right in the way. To edit a text, all you gotta do is tap on the text, all right? And then we can type something. We can type whatever you want. And let's say you wanna type welcome to the beach, all right? You can type that. And then when you play it, the animation of whatever text you chose will pop up. And then it will stay on the video. To add a text in a certain section, all you gotta do is head to the scissors and split where you wanna end the text. So if I wanna end the text right here, I can split right here, and then the text will only be in the first clip of the video that I selected, and after that, it will get rid of the text and the animation will automatically happen, all right? If you wanna add another text, all you gotta do is find a clip where you wanna do it. So I can split here and split here, and then I create a new clip. If I want text over here, select the text button, find whichever text I like. So if I like the this one right here, or we can select focus all right you can select here type in whatever text you like so we can say sunny days all right then you can see that we have text in the beginning after that there's a break all right and then in the new clip that we created you will see that there is new text with new animations and new fonts that we selected personally i believe that text can be useful especially if you're making maybe a recipe video or trying to get important points down. The last section that we have is the filter section. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I do not like the iMovie filters much because it does not give much options, but if you are a beginner and you want to get a simple video put in place, then these filters are right for you, alright? So we have black and white, blast, blockbuster, blue, camo, dreamy, duotone, silent era, vintage, and western now the filter section is the last section about the actual clip that you selected about editing the actual video now i'm going to get into some of the other aspects and things that you can do with imovie the first thing you can do is you can add different media to it if you select the plus button at the left corner right here you can see that there are different sections that you can add you can add videos and photos which means you can combine clips together you can choose to add audio if you have apple music you can choose to take a selfie with your camera or you can choose to do a voiceover. If you click the voiceover, you can see right here that it will add my voiceover if I click record and it will automatically create my voiceover whatever I'm speaking. So let's say you're trying to make a speech to a video, you can select a voiceover and you can record your voice automatically and it'll automatically combine the audio with the video for you. At the bottom, you have a file section, which means that you can choose to add certain media from files that you have saved, maybe from different websites, onto iMovie. Now, the next part I want to talk about is the transition section, alright? Transitions are one of my favorite things that I used to use in iMovie because iMovie has some of the best transitions that you can use, alright? So, I'm going to go ahead and add another clip right here. We are going to go ahead and select the clip of the mountains, so we can download that and add this to our video, alright? Now, 
four transitions, all right, you can see that when this video played into this next video, you saw that there was a fade right here. You can see, all right, there was a fade. This video of the beach faded into video of the mountains, all right? Now, you can choose which transitions you want. If you go ahead and select the section of the transition, all right, which is the middle, you will see that a yellow box pops up around it. After that, you will see different transition options. You have none, which is a simple one. It'll automatically play the next one, just like that. All right, we have the theme, which makes it turn off and automatically turn on, which is pretty simple and pretty easy to do on iMovie. Next, we have the dissolve, which we chose in the beginning and was automatically there in the beginning. After that, we have the slide, which will slide a video to the left and then play the next video. After that, we have the wipe, which does the same thing, except it'll automatically wipe the video through with this next video. And the last one we have is the fade, which will stop the video and then play it again, all right? These transitions are some of my favorite transitions to use, and it makes the video look extremely professional compared to any other video that you might not be able to edit. You can choose how long you want to select your transition by going to the bottom left corner and selecting how long you want it. If I want my transition for two seconds long, you can see right here, it'll play for two seconds and then it will start the next clip that you added. This works in your own video too, the first video. So if you want to go ahead and split the video, all right, select the transition section, we can still make a transition in between the same video. So we can select dissolve and you can see that it'll just dissolve into our own video again. It won't flow well, but if your video does have some requirements to change, then you can go ahead and add transitions. Another important thing I want to mention is moving clips around, all right? This is very simple to do. All you got to do is hold down a clip, all right, and you can choose where to put it. So if I want this section right here, which places it almost hitting the shore, I can select this clip, drag it left to the front of the video, and put it in the front. Now, if I play the video, that section that I selected right there will now be put in the front, and then it will play my previous beginning of the video, all right? So, let's say I want this section right here. We can, like, split here, all right? Create a new clip just like that. Let's say I want this section right here, right after the oceans slightly move in. We can create a new clip, all right? Hold this down, drag it towards the left, and put it here. All right, if you want to move it back, you can hold it, drag it towards the right, and put it right there. So you can move clips around however you want. If I move this last section to the end of the video, I can move this, drag it to the right, and put it at the end of the video. To undo any edits, select the top right corner, and it will undo any mistakes that you have made or anything that you want to go back to. Now, the last thing I want to mention in the iBlue Basics is if you select the bottom right corner, there is the project settings, all right? This is a simple part where you can find all your settings in one, all right? You have your filters, then you have a theme. What a theme does is it selects a text for you and makes the video flow. If you choose to select a theme, make sure you do it in the beginning of a video. After that, we have a theme soundtrack, which will automatically play the music that it selects. We have the fade in from black, which is the same as a fade, but it will play black. And then we have the fade out to black, which will fade in a video to black. The product sections are not really that good in iMovie either. It's not one of my things that I would use. But if you want to edit video simply, quickly, and efficiently, then iMovie is the best place to do that, especially for beginners. It's free, it's fast, it's easy, and it takes almost no time to learn how to edit videos. So that is basically it on how you edit videos in iMovie. If you have any questions, please comment in down below and I'll make sure I answer them as soon as I can. But apart from that, thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time.